this is the most 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 important thing hi guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, so if you are new here hi i'm vinita i am 23 years old i just turned 23 in july and uh, i shoot my daily life in vlogs and some top videos like this is going to be the first top video so if you are new here so if you are new here make sure that you like share and subscribe and let's get started into the video okay so you must have read by the title that uh, this video is going to be a chill relax like sit down video it is about the 23 things that i learned at 23 i think this is something that people can know and learn from and so let's get started so the first thing which i learned is yeah so the first thing which i learned is listen to your parents this is the most 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 important thing uh, which you will like realize very late in your life but it is worth it listen to your parents they are never wrong about something sometimes you might have disagreements with them but they are never wrong most of the time they are always 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 right about like your friends about your advice anything if they tell you something then trust me it's probably right so the second thing which i learned is let go of things that hurt you okay uh, this is i'm speaking this from my personal experience because i hold on to things and that hurt me a lot so this one thing i have realized very late but it was very 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 like useful which i have learned finally which is to let go of things that hurt you so maybe it is a job or it is the people in your life that are hurting you just let go of them any relationship which you are trying to like hold on to it can be with your friends it can be with your colleagues or any other person if it hurts you it is not worth your time trust me on this one i have been the been there done that and it's most of the time it never turns out well you end up hurting yourself and it's just waste your time not worth investing your time in okay so the next thing which i learned it is okay to not have a plan okay from childhood i was like i i am so sorted i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this i was like very 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 passionate about like i'll do this i'll be i'll be doing job at the age of this i'll do mba i'll do this i'll do that but it didn't go accordingly it didn't go like not at all it didn't go as planned currently right now sitting over here i can assure you that not having a plan is also okay very stressed for the past 2 3 years because of like having a job then not having a job then why i'm not having a job and it gets very stressful even when i was in college i was not this stressful about my studies as much as i am right now about not having a job but i have learned it is okay to not have a plan it is okay it will eventually work out okay just trust the process future vinita if you are watching this i know you are like you are doing something in your life i trust myself with that much that i will be doing something even if it's like not anything big it's okay don't pressurize yourself next thing is god's plan about yours you might have like a lot of lot of plans like oh i want to i'll be doing this i'll be like oh by the age i'm 25 i'll buy a house i'll get a car i'll get married i'll have children whatever your plan is move abroad my plan yeah so whatever your plan is god has a better plan than yours so trust the process trust that is the next point which is trust the process everything will eventually work out okay so all these points are like interrelated to each other so i might like uh, talk in between them but yeah these are some of the things which i learned and i thought i'll just share with like for a memory like in future i'll see and i'll be like oh these were the things so yeah 
trust the process as i was saying trust the process it's like it is going to be all okay just trust it next thing which i learned is things happen they means this, this is like how i was talking about how all the things are like all the points are interrelated to each other next point is that is things happen the way they are supposed to happen like even if as i had mentioned like earlier as well you might have many plans but they like most of the time they do like get successful sometimes they don't get it that is also okay life is supposed to happen it is, the way it is not now then maybe in future you will achieve what it is you are supposed to achieve so don't stress out just keep grinding keep working hard one is believe the power believe in power of manifestation it works guys trust me there is this book called secret by ronda bryan ronda bryan i don't know if i pronounce that name correctly but i'll write the name down here so yes that book is a miracle that book helps in manifestation trust me it is a very silly story like something or the other happens while reading that book and you like it comes true like you are like okay just just give it a thought and make sure that you like read that book it's like secret to manifestation it's an amazing book you must give it a try next point is live in the moment you now that i have graduated and uh, i am at home uh, i when i was in college i was like uh, oh when the college will end when i'll get out of this college when i'll you know start working and all those things but now i know that the most thing i miss about is miss is my college my college life why i didn't enjoy it much i am regretting those things very very much i wish i had enjoyed it more while it lasted uh, but uh, okay anyways that happened it's okay so live in the moment enjoy the time in which you are right now once it is past you will like re regret it like why you didn't enjoy it or why you were like so sulky about it so yeah next point is don't waste your energy on unnecessary things this point is actually regarding not a particular thing but uh, it can be like considered for many things like be it your unnecessary people in your life unnecessary things that you do like social media yeah this is one of the things that uh, like are unnecessary like sometimes is okay but having 12 hours 13 hours of your mobile like screen time it is very very wrong uh yeah it's very very wrong so yeah don't spend your time on unnecessary things use your time wisely this is one of the things which i have learned i'm trying to get out of like using like too much social media i'm like trying to like lessen my usage time but let's see next thing is it's okay to feel sad or unhappy Okay, I have been sad. I don't know, like a numerous times in the past, uh, past two three years since COVID. Unnecessary reasons. Sometimes when I was in college, after college, when I didn't have a job, when I had job, I was sad, and uh, now I again don't have a job, and I'm sad again. <laughs> Means not always, but sometimes I'm sad. Sometimes I'm unhappy. So yeah, it is okay to be sad. will pass like see now i'm smiling and all maybe next second i'll again be sad after finishing this video that is okay okay it's okay to get sad as long as you don't like hold on to it like hold on to it don't like keep being sad uh, like just the like, keep don't keep thinking about something like is bothering you suppose uh, something is bothering you like for example for me not having a job is something that bothers me always like even when i'm doing something and i'm like uh, doing something and i'm happy then the one thing which mainly comes into my mind is that i'm not having a job and that thing just keeps bothering me 
like everyone like around you being like so successful like not so successful but everyone around you being successful having good a job having a good life and then there is you not doing anything just being at home using your phone yeah that's me currently and it's okay that's the that's like one of the thing that keeps making me sad most of the times but it's okay that feelings like are also important it helps you it teaches you to like enjoy and live the happy moments it's okay to be sad sometimes you have to suppress your feelings okay just live the feelings and it will eventually pass sadness is not forever smiles are not forever like happy times are not forever sadness is not forever everything like has its time so it's going to be okay if you are sad okay next thing is love yourself love your body so i have always been like like on the chubbier side since my school days and i have like been bullied i won't say bullied but being body shamed throughout my life i'm kind of used to it now but it is one of the things which still bothers me like still when i go to like public places or in church or wherever people come and say that oh you are like fat or oh you have gained weight what happened to your diet you were dieting why are you still like this so it's okay if people like talk like this i know it hurts it hurt me a lot when people say these things because those who do this things na like diet those who try to lose their weight only they know the struggle like what happens and why like it is so hard like those people can't understand your struggles or why you like how much you are trying to lose weight so it's okay if people say those things you don't have to like be harsh on your body on yourself i've learned it i am still coping through it i'm still trying to be healthy like get in shape and it's okay maybe uh, it will take time but eventually i know i am going to get there and it is not for the people those who are naming me that oh you are fat oh when are you going to lose weight and all those things it is for myself because i love myself and uh, that is the only reason why i want to get healthy and not because people of people are body shaming so it is important that you love yourself these are mostly the points which i have learned throughout my life or i am still learning and i these are mostly the thing, things which i'm saying to myself ki listen vinita you have to do these things okay <laughs> yeah so next point is no one cares this is also one of the points which i have learned like nobody cares what you do you have, just have it in your mind ki are log kya bolenge log ka kaam karna kya hoga aisa people like you think ki what people might think if i did this for example like my my example is i always wanted to start youtube since school I, like since i was 16 i was like i wanted to start youtube and uh, i was always like oh when i'll get thin i'll start youtube so that people won't criticize me and i'm still the same so but i eventually learned that you know i started youtube eventually because who cares like people will talk for a few days you will get bad comments i have not received yet but yes i might receive some day i hope i not but if i receive like bad comments it's okay yeah what was the point again <laughs> sorry i get distracted so the point was no one cares start what you always wanted to do now is the right time now next point silence is the best answer <laughs> i don't know why i wrote this but it is true sometimes if you are arguing with someone and you feel like oh like how should i explain this some silence is the best answer most of the times don't compare yeah so social media is a lie youtube youtube is a lie instagram is a lie snapchat twitter it's all like people show who oh, they are partying they are going here they are doing this they are doing that trust me no one is that happy in their life everyone has something or the other problem going in their life even i have problems going in my life even people watching this might be having problems in their life 
so every one every person has a problem in their life you are just because they portray something on social media that they are very happy doesn't mean that they are happy means they are happy <laughs> doesn't mean they are like always happy they are happy but they are as i mentioned everyone has good days and bad days like don't compare yourself with other people based on only things that you see on social media talk to people yes socialize socialize a lot i wish i had known this thing earlier talk to people learn new things learn their stories listen to their experiences but don't compare yourself next one is you only live once sometimes you have to enjoy in the moment because you only live once forgive but don't forget okay this is the truth of life you must not hold grudges against anyone just forgive you will eventually move on and it won't even matter they are person that person's importance or anything it won't even matter but don't forget what they did to you like if they came back again into your life like claiming this don't forget it just because you forgave them doesn't mean that you have to forget what they did just forgive and move on let them be happy in their life and you be happy in your life next one is see what you want and what you need these are more important than your wants see what are your wants and what are your needs and take decisions accordingly okay next is learn a new hobby trust me if i could go back in time this is one thing i would have told the younger vinita that is learn a new hobby learn something like go play the sports learn badminton i used to play badminton when i was little so why did you stop learning play sports or something like do a new hobby because it helps i used to paint i used to sketch when i was in school but i have stopped that thing uh, i'm trying to like get into that again new hobby helps you a lot read more books i used to read a lot of books when i was in school but uh, since uh, life happened college junior college i stopped reading books means i was only studying studying read i wish i had read more books but again i am getting into reading more books i have started reading uh, from uh, since covid i am reading a lot and it's really good every month must read books it doesn't have to be it you can start with something light but books help a lot it gives you a lot 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 of knowledge so reading is really a good thing next point is not everyone is not everyone will understand this is also one of the point which i have learned is that not everyone will understand your position or what you are going through right now it's okay they don't have to understand everyone is going through like something in their life so don't judge them based on what you see okay not everyone will and not everyone is going to understand you also so that's okay like you don't have to like take it to your heart that that person is behaving like this or like that it's okay completely fine next is love your imperfections this is for me i have finally started loving the way i look it took me a long time to like learn this but your imperfections are what makes you beautiful this is one thing everyone must remember us and your imperfections are what makes you the best what makes you you learn so try to learn your imperfections and the last is choose your path wisely <laughs> okay so this is because uh, this is regarding your career or any other things but choose your path wisely as in like make decisions don't make irrational decisions look for the consequences and don't make irrational decisions look for the consequences how it turns out how it goes what are the consequences how it's going to happen and select the like do your decisions accordingly
so that was the last one these are the things 23 things which i learned in 23 years of my life first few years i don't remember <laughs> but that's it so these are the 23 things and i hope these things help you somehow okay oh uh, yeah so that brings us to the end of the video uh, thank you so much for watching if you are still at watching like till the end of the video thank you thank you so much because i think this video is going to be a very long one uh, so if you watch till the end thank you so much make sure that you um, follow me on instagram i'll mention it over here and uh, yeah uh, make sure you like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video